Jack inhibitors agents are target synthetic therapies that inhibit the Jack stat pathway, which is involved in autoimmune and chronic inflammatory disorders via Jack dependent cytokines. Four Jack inhibitors have been approved for treating rheumatic diseases. Interleukin 6 plays a role in intestinal epithelial repair. Since Jack inhibitors inhibit the Jack stat pathway, this treatment could be associated with decreased intestinal repair and increased risk of gastrointestinal perforation. Gastrointestinal perforation has been reported in clinical trials and in one observational study, but the number of events was limited. Thus, the aim of this study was to compare the risk of gastrointestinal perforation in patients initiating JAK inhibitors and those initiating adalimumab, a tumor necrosis factor inhibitor, among a large and comprehensive real-world population of patients with rheumatic diseases. We conducted a nationwide population-based cohort study of the French National Health Data System, the exposed group initiating JAK inhibitors and the comparison group initiating adalimumab. We included all individuals with rheumatic diseases who had their first dispensation of these treatments from July 2017 and December 2021. The primary outcome was the occurrence of gastrointestinal perforation. Patients were followed to the occurrence of this event, exposure discontinuation, death from any cause, or May the 31st, 2022, whichever came first. The court included 39,758 patients, 12,335 in the JAK inhibitor groups, and 27,423 patients in adalimab groups. During follow-up, 38 and 42 gastrointestinal perforations occur in the JAK inhibitor and adalimumab groups. Incidence rates were 2.1 and 1.1 per 1,000 person years respectively. Weighted hazard ratio was estimated with the inverse probability of treatment rating method to account for confounding factors. Concomitant administration of systemic glucocorticoids, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and proton pump inhibitor were time-varying variables. Rates of gastrointestinal perforation did not differ between JAK inhibitors and adalimumab groups. In this nationwide cohort study, the rates of gastrointestinal perforation did not differ between groups of patients initiating JAK inhibitors and adalimumab. These results need to be confirmed in other observational studies.